A new report reveals major problems within Kentucky's juvenile justice system, claims of excessive force, problems with isolation protocols, and more. As WDRB's Monica Harkins tells us, this report gives us a rare look at how officers are treating kids behind bars. It's definitely interesting, Hayden, because a part of this is something that people don't get to see on the everyday. If a child is taken into a place where they have to serve, aka detention centers, jails, you don't know what's going on once they go back there. It's only coming out in reports just like this. But Hayden, the biggest takeaway from this report that I found today is pepper spray is being used. We know that that's legal, but the report says it's being used at a rate 73% higher than what's used at adult prison facilities. Wow. Adult prison facilities are using pepper spray less. We know that from this report that Kentucky's juvenile jails are seeing pepper spray at such a high rate. This is just alarming. And the DJJ is also not properly trained on how to use this pepper spray, which those two facts kind of correlate. Sure. If you're not knowing how to properly use it, you might use it more. But that's just one of the things that this investigation really found. And Monica, we know that the department was audited back in 2017, but this new report says that many of those recommendations that were made seven years ago have still not been fully implemented. These problems are persisting. And if that doesn't tell you something about what's going on, I don't know what does. There's obviously something bigger than just one year or one type of leader going on in the DJJ. This is dating back several years. So we know what an audit is. You go, you investigate, you find reportings. So now this new report says there was a 2017 report. They didn't make the changes. Here's our findings. They're doubling down on dangerous issues going on in juvenile jails that have been persistent. This has been a big issue. A lot of eyes on our juvenile justice system in Kentucky. State lawmakers called for this report. A third party was hired to do the investigation. You have been covering this topic in depth. So what do you think it's going to take to really make some changes here? Well, I know what the Department of Juvenile Justice has been arguing for, and I think that's important to take into account. February of 2023, so last year, DJJ says money. Pay our staff more. Give us a pay raise. We'll get higher quality officers in. We'll be able to have a higher level of, of care for these kids. They're also understaffed. So that helps with the multifaceted issue. That's what the DJJ wants to see. So again, mm -hmm. just to reiterate, we're talking about kids that are you know serving time in these juvenile justice facilities, detention facilities. We know that you'll stay on it for it. Monica, thank you. Absolutely.